everybody, it's Patty, Angel Feathers Designs, and I'm here to show you a couple of things that I made uh, for the holidays. Um, I hope you like them. Um, I had so much fun making them, I truly did. It's in my typical shabby chic style, and um, I've kind of went off into like a more vintage, and um, which I love, but shabby chic is me, the light colors. Um, I'm just at home doing it, so um, I hope you like these. Um, they're not really a set, but they're all with the um, same paper line, which um, actually I used um, the uh, C'est La Vie um, Melissa Francis paper line. Um, I actually don't have the whole paper line. I actually had like... Um, three or four sheets of this page actually. Um, so I kind of used different sections um, from each page on um, the three different items. So um, it's just so gorgeous, this paper. Um, this here, compliments of the season. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if I'm over the camera here, so. Um, but that's the paper. Um, so the first thing I made was um, this Tussie Mussy, um, and um, I just love the way it came out. It's just so beautiful. Um, so what I did, um, I'll tell you what I did here. I painted the um, cone, just a vintage white, and then I covered it in the paper, and then I modge podged it um, with the paper matte Mod Podge. Um, so it gives you, it's just sort of very flat um, matte finish. So you don't really see any sheen there. Um, and then what I did was I used um, this stencil here that I got from Saw Crafters. Um, and I love it. Um, and I used it right here. I put it on with, um, oh, I don't have it here actually, my molding paste. Um, oops, sorry about that. And I just, um, with my sp spatula, just put it on there and just dried it. I think it looks so cute, add some texture um, to it. Um, so after I did that, let's see. Um, I had a seam, so I covered the seam here. That was the first thing I did, and um, this is just some sticky. Um, this is from, um, oh Lord, I can't think of the name uh, of this here. Um, but, uh, so I covered the seam with that. Okay, um, let's see what I did next. Um, I added some vintage sheer piece of lace under here, and then I covered it with this piece beautiful beautiful and um, and then I put this I don't know if you can see it here this uh, ribbon here um, it has like little crystals hanging from it so I did that on the inside if you can see there actually in there I also painted the inside Okay, uh, let's see. Um, what did I do next? Um, I think then I just actually started adding flowers. So this is I Am Roses, I Am Roses. This is Recollections, Poinciatas, um, I Am Roses. Most of them I Am Roses. Um, these are just little forget-me-nots um, that I had in my stash actually. And another points out of there. Um, and then I put snow tech. Um, make it look like this snow on just dabbed it on all over. Also a little iron roses buds there. Um, and I let that dry. And then I added, I'll put this down for a second. Um, this little bobble here, right here and these this piece down here and these I found this here and this here um, can't get these out here actually 
all these here. I found these in the wedding section at Michael's, actually. So um, that's where I got those. And um, so I tucked one in here and then those down here. Um, this is a vintage earring. Um, so beautiful. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else did I do here now? Oh, this here. This is like, it looks like rock candy. And I found these in Michael's as well. See these here? They came in pink and clear. So I just broke off some pieces. I tucked some in here. A couple down there. Um, which I love. They just, they, it looks just like rock candy. I love it. Um, and then I tucked in, let's see, a Tim Holtz, um, I don't know what these little thing of, thing in my box here are called, but tuck that in there. It's actually not even glued in yet. And then I cut uh, just a little caption compliments of the season off from the paper. And then on the bottom here, uh, these are three Martha Stewart um, snowflakes that I just glued together, put a little snow tech on it. Um, this is those pipe cleaners in silver. Just wrapped it around there to cover um, this is like a chandelier, a uh, real chandelier um, crystal. So I punctured a hole, hung it, and then just covered it with the, um, the pipe cleaner. Looks like tinsel. Okay, and then up here, um, I took one of the pipe cleaners and two strands of um, pearls, wrapped it around and then glued it on the inside and then I covered it um, actually with a piece of tool and a feather. I attached it all together with a little wire and then I covered it with this piece of like a little doily in there on both sides. Okay, so that's really it for the Tussie Mussy. I think it came out absolutely stunning. I love it. I'm definitely making more of these. Um, you know, hang on the tree put something in there for somebody just beautiful you can make this you know to and from type of card um, so yeah that's my Tussie Mussie love it think it came out gorgeous I hope you guys like it okay that's number one then number two I made these are also Melissa Francis and these are um, they're called 19 62 ornament house and they're from Melissa Francis um, and the one I have is like a church and a barn I'm not actually not sure if that's a church actually this is I think the church but um, it's like a little home um, so those and they were just cardboard and just put them together glue them together and this is what I came up with and I put them on a little paper mache box. And this is the first one. This is the smaller of the two. And this is a little house. I think it came out just so beautiful. And I took the paper line, I cut a piece on each end of a um, piece of the um, octagon shape here. And I made it smaller. I distressed the edges. I um, embossed uh, embossed I um, distressed it and then I inked them up I actually didn't even finish the bottom of the box yet um, so I'm just gonna cover that with a piece of paper um, and then um, that's the box then on the top I cut a piece of paper this is from Tim Holtz the shabby chic uh, paper pack I put a piece on top there I use some chalk ink on the edges there um, I, you know what, I, I should say, I painted the whole box first, excuse me. I painted the whole box vintage white first. Then I put the paper and the paper. Um, and then on the cover, which this comes off, I'm not going to take it off now, um, I put this piece of um, trim, like uh, lace. And then this is the Melissa Francis. Um, here we go. It's uh, Melissa Francis ribbons and trim, and this looks like uh, vintage tinsel, which I love. So this is really uh, so gorgeous. Absolutely love it. It has like that vintage hue to it. It's not very silver, you know. It's like toned down. 
okay? So um, then um, before I put anything else on the house itself, after I glued it together, I put paper all on each side of the house and then I sprayed it and put um, diamond dust all over the house. Okay, and then after I did the diamond dust, I put snow tech all on the edges, let that dry, and um, then I glued the house on and then I um, actually, around the house here, if you can see this down here, it looks like ice is this the vintage mica snow and um, I got this a while ago um, I don't even know uh, it's mica snow.com m-i-c-a snow.com Lake Forest California and I've had this for quite some time and it just never I, I it, there's so much in here it's crazy so I put that around with some glue just glued it down painted on a little glue and um, just uh, shook, shook it on and it just stuck okay and then after doing that I um, added a couple I am roses here with the snow tech again little pearls and bobble glued them down big snowballs and um, then back here I thought I had those little uh, bristle brush trees you know the bottle brush trees but I didn't so um, what I did was I took some of this, uh, this rock candy that I call rock candy trim here and I um, gathered it together with the pipe cleaner and I thought that came out cute with some tool because it's um, you know uh, I don't know what you call it, like a tree of some sort <laughs> um, and uh, after I did that I had these little things here uh, they look like snowflakes actually um, and I just glued a couple on there I don't know if you could see them but I glued those on there and then these here are um, Tim Holtz um, his adornments uh, little wings they're gone gotta get me more of those because angel feathers where would I be without my wings so um, and then I just put some white paint on those and I still haven't done the chimney yet so I just cut, put a couple of little um, um, forget-me-nots in there I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that yet but so that's it for this one so beautiful I hope you like it just um, I, I just think they're beautiful and it, again it does open it is a box um, but it's not finished inside so I don't want to show you that yet okay then for the larger one this is just another one of the boxes they were stackables did the same thing on the bottom after painting it put the paper line okay same on the cover paper edges distressed all the edges um, this one here I used um, this eyelid type trim then I put this here, these um, this ribbon with these little crystals, the same as on the Tussie Mussy. I put that around there, and then I put the tinsel trim again. And this house, same thing, just more more like a barn type look. Um, diamond dust, um, snow tech on the edges. Same thing for the tree, flowers, I am roses, little baubles, snowballs. And then I took the wings and put them on each side, which I love the way it looks. Absolutely love the way it looks. And then this um, is also Tim Holtz, this crown here that I put on the chimney. And then there's a little some flowers back there. Um, I think I'm going to put some like cotton in both of the chimneys to make it look like smoke, actually. So that's this one that's that one I don't know if you could see them all in because they're a little bit large um, and then this was the Tussie Mussie I hope you like everything um, I will have pictures on my blog angelfeathers10.blogspot.com and you can see some pictures with close-ups 
I also might have um, some pictures after this um, video and still working on editing the video so I'm getting there um, okay I hope you liked it and thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you all soon take care bye bye